Hi, my name is Joseph, or the Shady Blacksmith on social media. Thank you for joining Timeless Share. Today, I will be reading from Romans 12, verses 19 and 20, and then I'll be reading 21. Friends, do not avenge yourselves. Instead, leave room for his wrath. For it is written, Vengeance belongs to me. I will repay, says the Lord. But if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. For in doing so, you will be heaping fiery coals on his head. According to my footnotes, um, we also need to read Proverbs 25, yeah, 25 verses 21 and 22. If your enemy is hungry, give him food to eat. And if he is thirsty, give him water to drink. For you will heat coals on his head, and the Lord will reward you. The Bible says you will heat coals on their head. Doesn't that sound like a great way to get back at somebody? You're angry at somebody for doing things. And man, you just you just want to show them, right? And so you according to this, uh, if they're hungry, you feed them. And if they're thirsty, you give them something to drink. And you're going to really get up under their skin by doing good to them, right? That's not exactly what it's talking about by heaping fiery coals on their head. Back before we had heating and air conditioning, people heated their houses with a stove. And if the stove fire went out, they would actually go to their neighbor's house with a basket on their head and ask for some coals, some burning coals. And so their neighbor would take a heap of coals and put it in their basket. And by putting the basket up on their head, the air would be able to blow through the basket and keep the coals on fire while they went home and restoked their fire. It was very important um, for people to be able to get heat in their houses, just like it is now. But in order to do that, they had to have fire. In the same way, we have to have fire in our lives. Um, it is very important for us to be shown the love of God. No matter what somebody does to you, how much would you have to hate them? To say, I know how to get to heaven, and I know you're going to hell, but I'm just going to let you go to hell. I mean, what kind of hatred would that have to be? There's nobody, nobody at all, who I hate badly enough to say, I hope you go to hell. It doesn't matter what you do to me. My goal is going to be to show you the love of God so that I can kindle a fire in your life for God. So that you can have the blessings that I've experienced in my own life from God. So that you can have the hope and the peace from God. So that you can go and live with God for the rest of eternity. And not be separated from Him burning in hell. So when it says, For you are going, for in doing so, you will be heaping fiery coals on His head. That's not saying, this is how you get back at Him. That's saying, this is how you show them love. This is how you show them grace and mercy, just like what God showed you when he died on the cross to forgive you from the sins that you had done to him and to forgive me of the sins that I've done to him. Verse 21 says, Do not be conquered by evil, but conquer evil with good. This is a very profound thing in our culture nobody thinks this person's been horrible to me i'm going to be good to them just because i love them and they think this person has been horrible to me i hate them but that's not okay and it's hard nobody ever said forgiveness is easy nobody ever said love is easy but it is so important and god commands that we forgive and god commands that we love and god commands that we treat people who are evil to us with kindness so that we can kindle a fire in their lives and heap flaming coals on their head. 
Thank you for watching the Timeless Share. I hope that this video has helped you in your walk with God. And uh, if you liked this video, I encourage you to like it and subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.